Tyrell Malaysia's transfer hint is Man United lineup signing after Frankie de Jong. Tyrell Malaysia is reportedly being lined up to become Manchester United's next signing after Frankie de Jong. And that news has emerged just weeks after the Netherlands International hinted at a potential move to Old Trafford. If he joins, it could also spell trouble for the likes of Luke Shaw, Alex Tells and Brandon Williams. Manchester United are keen to improve their squad this summer. De Jong is their number one priority, with talks with Barcelona ongoing as the Red Devils look to land the 25-year-old for a reduced fee. And the Daily Mail say that, once United are able to get a deal for the midfielder over the line, they'll turn their attentions to prizing Malaysia away from Feyenoord. The fullback impressed for the Eredivisie side last year, playing a key role as they won the Dutch Cup at the expense of Eric Ten Hag's Ajax. And, with that being the case, it's no wonder United are interested in acquiring the player this summer. What's interesting, though, is that Malaysia recently hinted he'd be ready to play at Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag. What De Jong was told about Man United transfer while away on international duty, the 22-year-old was asked about interest from other teams with United specifically mentioned. And, with a big smile on his face, he said. I am certainly ready for the next step. Malaria did say, however, that he's not really thinking about his future at a time where United are looking to snap him up. But first I want to focus on the orange squat and play here said the defender, who is hoping to feature for the Netherlands International at the World Cup in Qatar later this year. I feel like everything happens for a reason, and everything is written. If it's the right time, it's the right time. I'm not really thinking about it, it's in the back of my mind. Don't miss Anthony comments suggest Ten Hag reunion at Man United is possible Man United have five players who can be amazing under Ten Hag Pau Torres breaks silence on future amid Man United links but I don't want to comment on it. If United do move for Malaysia, it will plunge the futures of Shaw, Tells and Williams into uncertain waters. United paid pounds 30 million to land Shaw back in the summer transfer window of 2014, with the fullback arriving as a replacement for Patrice Evra. But while he did well under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the England intentional has often struggled to be consistent in the time since. Shaw will be hoping to get back to his best when Ten Hag takes charge, having regressed last term like many other players at the club. Yet the arrival of Malaysia would pose a threat to his chances of getting in the team. Man United fixtures. When Eric Ten Hag's team face every Premier League team, it would also damage Tell's hopes of nailing down a starting spot, too. Signed from Porto two years ago, the Brazil international has failed to meet expectations since his arrival. Even with Shaw injured, Tells didn't cover himself and glory with his performances under Ralph Rangnick. And it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Samba star, who has been linked with a move away from Old Trafford this summer. Williams has returned to United after a loan spell at Norwich City. Yet it's unlikely he'll be a starter under Ten Hag, meaning another temporary spell away from the club could be on the cards. Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here regarding United's recruitment. Meanwhile, Red Devils Supremo Richard Arnold has confessed they've wasted too much money in recent years. He said, We spent a billion pounds on players. We have spent more than anyone in Europe. I'm not thrilled where we are. It doesn't sit easy with me, and I worry how we get this sorted for the future. What's happened is we have expletive burned through cash. You can't go to our training ground and say show me where the pounds one billion is is because we haven't spent money well historically. I'm not here to defend, Chairman, Joel, Glazer. He must speak for himself. But you have taken the time to come here and make your views known, and I respect that. We've blown through an enormous amount of money. For this summer, the money the manager and the director of football, John Murto, wants is there. 